Buradayız abi. Ten million estimated to be laundered. Okay, so we are going to talk now about hashtag Timmy's Twitch. Okay, all the Turks are sleeping. Yep, that's why I'm covering it now. Now that the Turks are going to sleep. Big scandal in Turkey. The largest Turkish streamer on the platform, Hasan Hasanabi Piker, forgets to run the top of the hour ad break. That's right. Three minutes in, he remembers and tells you it's top of the hour where there's a 60 second ad break. That's right. Turkish people won't see the ad anyway. I don't think they serve ads in Turkey, so you're fine. But the American viewers will probably see the ad. However, they can avoid those ads if they subscribe. That's right. You can subscribe for $5 or for free with Prime, and uh, you will have an ad free broadcasting experience because I am running the ad now. Burdayzabi. Okay, so apparently some shit popped off in Turkey from these massive uh, 4chan leaks. Turns out there was a lot of these like random tiny ass Turkish content creators that were raking in a boatload of money. Like people with like 60 viewers, but they're bringing in like two grand a month. Now, two grand a month goes a very long way in Turkey with the conversion, okay? Like a very, very uh, long way. <sighs> and uh, basically what ended up happening is there were... 10 million dollars estimated to be laundered through Turkish Twitch broadcasters. People were stealing credit card information and then using it to pay the broadcasters who would then get a cut and then launder the money back into a different bank account. Now, the irony, of course, is that uh, they called it hashtag Timmy's Twitch, which means clean Twitch which is funny because that's literally what they were doing. They were cleaning money. So hundreds of streamers said to have taken a 20% cut to help launder money stolen by hackers through credit cards. I don't know who the person is. Erdoğan ölmedi ya. Ölmüş olma ihtimali yok. Abi salak salak konuşuyorsunuz ya. Niye beni mutlu... Niye beni böyle gaza getiriyorsunuz? Ondan sonra olmayacak. Twitter'a bak. Oh, okay, bro. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely... Bro, the hashtag says so. So it must be the case. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was saying, a group of Turkish live streamers have been in recent weeks exposed to an alleged fraud and money laundering ring that utilized the live streaming platform Twitch, reportedly netting hackers nearly $10 million. Düzeltme ve özür ağanın bugünkü ek gündeminde Erdoğan'ın programı iptal olmadı. Erdoğan'ın bugünkü problemi dört elçiyi kabul etme töreni olacak. Okay, so Anadolu Ajansı was wrong. There you go, and you guys are wrong. He's not... Why are you getting yourself excited at only to feel terrible about it? Like, you guys are just, like, whipping yourselves up in excitement for no reason, only to be sad when you find out that it's not true. You know what I mean? That was a Turk reaction meme. That was Cemil Maz, one of my favorite comedians growing up. Um, umuttur yaşamak ya. İşte tamam ama yani, boşu boşuna kendini e, umutlandırıyorsun, ondan sonra götüne giriyor tekrar. E, sonra hatırlıyorsun gerçek olmadığını. Anyway, uh, Twitch, which is owned by Amazon, describes itself as an interactive... La, la, la. You already know that. That's for the normies. Scandal uh, surfaced after an anonymous hacker. I already mentioned that. Having... Examine the leak, users in Turkey quickly realized something was odd. Streamers with little to almost no following were earning thousands of dollars through a platform called Bit, which allows viewers to express their appreciation to the hosts with special paid emojis, which uh, transfers 1% of the income obtained through Bit to the individual streamers. That's not true. That's not 1%. They're wrong about that. Um, so yeah, chat doesn't know this, but yes, $2,000 a month is like 19 with a conversion rate. It's like 19,200 Turkish lira. And the average Turkish wage is 2,200 lira a month. So it is an incredible amount of money, okay? Incredible amount of money with the conversion. Like, they were making so much money, okay? Yeah. So Twitch transfers 1%. That's not true. I don't know why it says 1%. Oh, sorry. It's 2,880 Turkish liras is the minimum wage. This is a quick unfollow. What? What? Why? Because I'm, like, talking about Turkish Twitch streamers is scamming? And making money? What the fuck? It's saying that Twitch streamers earn one cent for every bit. They just don't know how Twitch works. Yeah, it's not. You yes. One bit is one penny. One cent. Anyway, um, some were found to be earning up to eighteen hundred dollars a day, despite having up to just forty to fifty viewers. Under the scam, hackers firstly allegedly stole or obtained the credit card information of random individuals and they negotiated deals with Twitch streamers to send them large payments of money through bit. That's also Oh, they negotiated with Twitch streamers, yes. Mitralius, what is this? Are these the people that were doing this? Is this one of the people? Um, Turkish Twitch users then started their own campaign. So they wanted to do <laughs> hashtag do better Twitch. They wanted to do clean Twitch. Uh, hashtag Timmy's Twitch. According to the calculation by the Turkish new news website, Haberler.com, a total of $9.8 million was laundered to 2,400 Turkish streamers over the past few years. 2,400 Turkish Twitch streamers? What the f Yes, a bit as in a cheer bit. Amerika'da yok sanki. 
Yani bizde böyle bir şey yok. Ama olabilir belki de bilmiyorum ama yani böyle bu, bu seviyede yok yani. Imagine the SEC grows some balls and starts doing this with NFTs. What? No. Ortaya çıkış noktasının Night, on, Night Online'da Two Clan'ın kavga etmesi en güzel tarafı. So the scam is they steal, these people steal credit cards. They contact the Twitch streamer and they say, listen, I'm going to pay you a thousand dollars. I'm going to cheer a thousand dollars with this stolen credit card. Okay. And then you are going to take the thousand dollars and you're going to give me, you know, 70% of that, $700, 80% of that, $800. You know what I mean? And you're going to give me back $800. And then you just made for free, basically for helping me do this scam and clean this money you are going to make uh, $300, $200, depending on how much it is. Alıntı karttan değil, botları izlettiğim reklamlardan olan kazancı diyerek geliyor. What? No, they don't say stolen card. They just offer money in 50% back and they say they got it with bot accounts by making ads uh, for bid on Twitch. Oh, so they didn't tell the Twitch streamers that they were stolen cards. They were just offering money and saying like, you need to give me 50% of this back because I got this by, you know, doing bot accounts. Like I, I bought it like a ad watching service or whatever to make money. Abi bazı insanlar streamerları yok etmek için kendi çaldıkları kredi kartıyla para atabiliyorlar. Yani o Twitter hesabında yazan yazıncıları hepsi dolandırıcı değil. Söylenene göre yurt dışında reklam izleyerek bit kasıp o biti sana yolluyorum diyorlar. Okay, so they were, apparently they were saying, while they got an email offering a 30% cut. Good afternoon. Play it Bogart admin. Are you interested in a Twitch partnership? We offer payments 200 euros and above. Minimal effort is required on your end. Our team will top up your Twitch balance by using Twitch Prime and Bits. You'll keep 30% of the total revenue earned, and the rest you'll have to transfer to us by PayPal or wire transfer. Based on cooperative work and consistent stream activity, the percentage of your earnings will grow in your favor. Where do these bits come, and why don't we withdraw them ourselves? Bits are earned from advertisement actions and stored onto our Twitch account balance. The only way to withdraw them is by donating them to streamers, which is the reason why we contact and ask you for help. Is oh wait, wait what? So what they were doing? What were they doing? Were they like, they're, they're claiming that they were just like, because you know, Twitch has a new system where like there's ads when I run an ad. Okay. And you guys uh, can click on to the ad. And if you click on the ad, I get bits. So maybe they would set up like dummy accounts, I guess, and then bought it and then claim that like they're making money off of those bots. But in reality, they were just like stealing credit cards. Where do these bits come? Bits are earned from advertisement. If this offer is interesting to you, answer this email. Collaboration Twitch. So, you get bits for watching ads, dumbass. Wait, you do? Okay, well, regardless, it's clear that they weren't doing that, though. It's, uh, I think that, from what I understand, they were stealing credit cards. Stealing credit card information of, like, uh, you know, other people's. And then, uh, and then, you know, buying bits and shit to get it back. Abi, yayıncılar da salak değil. Onlar da bu paranın legal yollarla gelmediğini biliyorlar ama salak yatıyorlar. Yeah, most likely. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if the streamers actually knew legit straight up that this was a scam or not. It, I, if I got a f email like that, I'm like, this is a goddamn scam. I would never respond to an email like that, like in a million fucking years. It's insane. Anyway, the screenshot suggests a person named Sinan had offered him a 20% cut of bit income per Brock as we agreed to refund the remaining amount of money. This is something that many of us have been aware of for a long time, but we couldn't confirm Twitch and the owner of Amazon nor the audience for years, Grinmax told Middle East Eye. We waited for the prominent names on the platform to talk about the issue and mid-level influencers like me weren't loud enough. Hala devam ediyorlar, ediyorlar teklifler gelmeye. Yeteri kadar iyi bir yayıncı değilim herhalde. Sadece %20 bırakıyorlar bana. Oh, this guy is saying like, I'm still getting offers, but I'm only getting 20%. I guess I'm not good enough as a streamer. Um, Grinmax said, following the expose of the scandal by prominent Twitch streamers, now even lawmakers have become interested in the issue. Oh my God, that's so funny. What are Turkish lawmakers going to do? I want people to realize how big this fraud is, not only in Turkey, but also globally. Jahreyn, one of the most well-known influencers who has 1.7 million followers on Twitch, has become the flag bearer, friend of the show Jahreyn, uh, has become the flag bearer of the issue and publicly called on Twitch to act, with Jahreyn, whose real name is Ahmet Sunuc, and other influencers doxed, other, <laughs> leaked. Other influencers' efforts, authorities have now started investigating the issue. I have testified and shared data I have with the police, cybercrime office about the fraud Jahreyn said in the broadcast this week. After meeting with Jahreyn, Gusal taken an Istanbul deputy for the main opposition Republican People's uh, Party, JHP, which is a Sok Dem party, uh, presented a motion to the parliament calling for the Financial Crimes Investigation Board, MASAK, and other relevant Turkish institutions to scrutinize the scandal. 
After our motion became public, a lot of people reached us. Taken told MEE they were all victims. We've heard very interesting stories. We don't know how many of them are true or false. Our duty is to bring the allegations about this fraud to the public arena. <sighs> Even though I'm a mid-band streamer, I decided that why are all the Turkish streamers just like owning themselves? They're like, come on, I'm just like a shitty middle middle income streamer, bro. God damn. Be less humble, bro. You're kings. Okay, you guys are you guys are killing it. Huge dolancıların ortak olan bazı Türk yayıncıların açıklamada herkes yapıyor mu yapıyordu salak mıyım dedim. Anlık sinirle attırdım. <gülüyor> Acısını ahirette çekeceğim. Parayı görmedim. Dolandırıcılığı biliyorum. Biliyordum daha fazla bilgi için girdim. Pişmanım Mehmetçik'e bağışlayacağım. <gülüyor> Mehmetçik'e bağışlayacağım. <gülüyor> Oh, that's funny, dude. Okay, so there he's saying like those are the common things that Twitch streamers that got caught scamming said. Uh I'm gonna go Mehmetchia Bashli Jam Um Anyway, decisive action. Twitch uh, spokesperson told Middle East I the company had taken action against 150 streamers in Turkey for the abuse of his monetization tools. We want to assure our community that we will not hesitate to take decisive action. We take efforts in combat, prevent, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah. Hello, I don't have any subscription on Twitch today. A total of 10,000 liras had been deducted from my credit card as Twitch without approval. This payment has been made without my consent and I request to be investigated and refunded. Please contact Iram Didem. Geçmiş olsun helal edin artık çünkü buna dur diyemiyorlar. Helal mi etsin? <laughs> the ad watching for bits is only relevant because that's how the scammers pretended they were earning the bits with ad watching bots. I don't think it's been true that you can do that for years. At first, when bits were introduced, that you could get small amounts of bits for ads. Also, Fist said Jahrein Log says he went on national TV earlier today. Yeah, I heard that Jahrein actually went on national television. I don't know if he's still up though. I was going to talk to him about this, but uh, I don't know if he's still up. Damn, shit made national news. Apparently, they were talking about letting you know in case you want to talk to me. Azan, siz a basan. Um, yeah. An ekranında Ahmet hoş geldin yayınımıza. Merhabalar, nasılsınız? Gayet iyiz, çok teşekkürler. Seni dünyanı da böylece görmüş oluyor izleyicilerimiz. Ahmet'in odası tam şu anda gördüğünüz gibi bakın. Son derece ergonomik bir sandalyesi var çünkü saatlerce orada oturuyor ve yayın yapıyor aslında. <gülüyor> okay, I can't watch the rest of it. It's Turkish anyway. I can't. Okay, listen, listen, listen. No, she's saying, look, we're getting a peek into the life of uh, Ahmet, Jaren. So they're like... They're saying uh, he sits on an ergonomic chair because he sits on a chair all day and every day. Arkada bir ışıklandırma var, karanlık bir ortam ve büyük ihtimalle karşısında da bir ekran var. Evet, gayet hoş dekorlar. Karşımda üç ekran var. Bunlardan birinde yayın yapıyorsun. He has three screens in front of him, and they're like saying, "You see, you do a broadcasting with one." Anyway, so so weird to see like Twitch become an international thing. My grandmother apparently was watching Okan Boyulgen or something. I don't know, some program on TV, on Turkish TV. And they were talking about me on the program, like on national television. They were like in Turkey. They were, they were talking about how like, uh, you know, I'm one of the most like wealthy Twitch streamers in the, on the planet or some shit. Yeah, they were like this Hasan Abi, this guy named Hasan Abi. He's like making so much money uh, on Twitch. No, with pride, not with hate. Why the f would they say it with hate? No, dude. Listen, all of my f bad takes with uh, respect to like, I mean, I, ha I, I hate Erdogan, so they love that. Okay. But then when I say some other shit, uh, you know, like the Armenian genocide, then they hate that. But then their own uh, nationalist, uh, you know, pride that like a Turkish boy is able to be so dominant and so successful on like this international platform that gets them really riled up again. So they just like overlook some of my uh, qualities that they consider to be shitty. Ölmedi Erdoğan ya. Allah Allah. Yeah. And also they're like, you must be a homosexual because you paint your nails. Would you be thrown in the gulag if you went back? I mean, I, uh, there's a reason why I don't go back. I don't think I would be, uh, 
You know? Öldü abi şu an helvasını yiyorsun. Ha, öyle mi? Pipisini de ye. Helvasını yerken. Sünnetlik pipisini de ye. Allah. Ölünce gelirim yüzde yüz. Söyledim abi. Erdoğan Erdoğan e, başkan olmasa direkt gelirim acımam. Abi pipine şöyle bir aksanlı yarrak der misin lütfen? Yarrak. Al. Yarram. Don't go back to the hood after you make it out. Aiden Ross. <laughs> What the fuck? Anyway, okay. Uh, all right, let's move on. Uh, this is the story. There you go. Now you guys know. And I covered it. Aslan, an art teacher in Izmir, said she'd become aware of being targeted through mobile phone messages sent to her bank. I don't even know what Twitch is. I'm a victim and I need seriously to save money the seven to eighth months to pay this debt. Yeah, that's really f***ed up, but no shot does the credit card company not help her out. Like, that would be insane. Um... Okay, so we did that. Uh, Democrats are losing, are they? Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>